Does your garage band look like this where you can't use the select and you can't actually change any of the options? Well, there's a very simple solution for this. And in this video, I'm going to show you. Let's go. So the GarageBand interface here has two different views. There is a recent view and there is a browse view and you can change between these two at the very bottom, but it can be quite easy to get stuck in one and then you're trying to do something that you can't do. So let me show you now. Down at the bottom here, we're in the recent tab and you'll notice here that all we can do is open and select all of these different documents. We can scroll down to see shared documents and we can see all of our local documents at the top here. But this isn't the view that we generally want to work in. It's handy for opening projects we've just worked on but we want to be able to get some more options all we need to do is tap on this browse button in the bottom right corner and now we've got all of our file locations down the side but importantly we've got this select button in the top right we can tap on select and now we can actually do some things we can tap on our projects here and look at these options down the bottom here we can share them duplicate move and delete our items so if we wanted to share this item we just tap the share button and we can go ahead and do that if you need to learn how to share and how to import and export all of the things in GarageBand. There's a heap of videos on the channel, one linked up the top there and a bunch more down in the description that you can check out if you're first learning GarageBand. But I wanted to show you this one because the question I get asked a lot is, hey Pete, where is my select button? Why can't I do any of the things I see you do on my files here? It's probably because you're in the recent tab and all you need to do is tap over to the browse tab and you'll be on your way and good to go. I know this was a simple one, but but hopefully if you've been struggling with this and haven't worked out that there are these two different tabs, then you can now make sure that you can get to the right spot here in GarageBand. Thanks again for watching. Hope to see you next time. If you're just starting out with GarageBand or you want to learn even more, check out my GarageBand Quick Jam series. There's two of them linked right down below to give you a taste. And there's a whole playlist with more than 70 of them to date that you can check out. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, you can click and tap in the top right corner as well. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next video.